everyone, it's Kimberly and I am bringing you a short video of my tentative November TBR. What's this, Kimberly? I thought you said you weren't doing any more TBRs on your channel because they stress you out and you don't read the books. Hmm. Yeah, I did say that, but I have some books that are the rest of series that I read last month, so I know I'm going to read them. Hopefully. <laughs> and also some books that I have from the library that I'm planning to read. So I thought I would do a quick video just to show you what's on the horizon for me. And maybe I decide not to read these. Some of them are tentative. But I just thought, I'll just show them to you. On the last day of October, I started reading The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. This is very fun, quirky, and totally absurd. And I am really enjoying it so far. It's super fun and I am about a third the way through it, so I am continuing on with this. And I may continue on with the rest of the five books in the series, which are all in this bind up, or I may just read the first one for now and then read some other things and then get back to the other four books in the series later on. So last month I read The Assassin's Curse by Cassandra Rose Clark. That is the first in a duology. This is the second in the duology, The Pirate's Wish. So I will be reading this book to finish up the duology very soon. Last month I read Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor and I enjoyed it, but when I finished it I didn't go straight on to the second and third books because it was kind of really emotionally draining and a little bit more dark towards the end and I was really in the mood for something happier so I read a couple contemporaries after that, but this month I will be getting back to the rest of the series. The second book is Days of Blood and Starlight. And the third book is Dreams of Gods and Monsters. So I will be reading both of these this month to finish the series. Then if I get around to it, I will be very busy this month because I am starting a really, really intense MCAT course and I will be studying so, so much. And so I will be extremely busy. So I don't think, I'm sure I won't be doing as much reading as September and October, but we'll see how much reading I get around to. But I also got from the library the first three books in the Gentleman Bastard series by Scott Lynch. The Lies of Locke Lamora, Red Seas Under Red Skies, and The Republic of Thieves. These look so, so good. And it's a fantasy series with con artists and thieves, and I've heard tons of people talking about these. They sound like totally my type of book. So if I get around to it, I will be reading those three. In September, I read Aurelia, which was okay-ish, and this is the second book. So I got it from the library, and maybe I'll read it, but this is like a maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see, it just depends if I need one to read. Then I got Attachments from the Library by Rainbow Rowell. This is Rainbow Rowell's first adult fiction book and it looks fun so I might be reading this if I get around to it or maybe not. We'll see, we'll see, but I just thought I'd show it to you. This is from the library in my stack of potential reads for this month. So these books are my potential November TBR, we shall see. So those are just some books that I will potentially be reading in November. I may read a ton of other books other than these. I may not read all of these, but yes, I just thought I'd let you know those are some of the books that I might potentially read. What are you planning to read in November? Please comment down below and let me know. Do you have any recommendations for me? You can leave them down below and I always love recommendations. And also, some of these are potentials. If you absolutely love some of these books and you want to try to convince me to definitely, definitely read it this month, please comment down below and tell me why I should read it. And I would love to have you help me get really excited about these. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.